Here's another piece of notation that's useful in activity diagrams. This one's known as swim lanes for obvious reasons. In this diagram we have three swim lanes, the order department swim lane, the accounting department swim lane, and the customer swim lane. Okay. Now inside we have an activity diagram pretty much like the one we saw before, but the swim lanes are used to show who's responsible for each activity. So in this case we're saying the order department has to receive an order, fill it, ship it and close the order. The accounting department has to send an invoice and accept a payment and the customer is responsible for making the payment. Apart from those attributions of, of responsibility to the different act activities, everything's very similar to the other activity diagram we saw. We sh you see that you can have a start marker in an activity diagram to show that where things start, just like in a state diagram, and you can have a stop marker which, by the way, will stop the entire activity of the, of the activity diagram. Um, and what else is there to say about this? We've got a choice going on with the order being accepted in one case and not accepted and therefore immediately closed in the other case. Oh yes, this is a new piece of notation. We've got an invoice shown in a rectangle here. Um, this is best thought of informally, I think, really, but what it's indicating is that there's a system object somehow which is acting as the interface between two activities. So the accounting department sends an invoice. This is the invoice actually being sent, which is now input to the customer for making payment. The invoice object is output from the send invoice activity and input to the make payment activity. Note the use of a fork here and a corresponding join here. After the order has been filled, two collections of things have to happen in parallel. The order has to be shipped, and an invoice has to be sent, payment has to be made, payment has to be accepted. Only after both of those things have been done do we go through this join bar here and close the order. Here's an alternative way of showing the same information. Here we've got the same activities going on, but instead of putting them in swim lanes, they've been labelled order department, order department, order department, order department, accounting department, accounting department, customer, with the invoice object there, shown going from one activity to another. Just an alternative.